Yeah, it, it's like one of those things where like, there's so many good ideas here, but like, it just, it needed to be handled by better writers, if I'll be honest. Just say, like, it wants to be like, it wants to take itself seriously. Also, this is an interesting thing. This is, this is an instance of like, being optional, but it, this is like, first instance where you can actually use the drill in 3D, so it's pretty cool. It's a little bit weird in how it controls, but like, it's, yeah, I, I, I do like this. Uh, and then you have the 3DS version, which forces you to do this for an extended period of time and put you in very precarious situations, which isn't, isn't very fun. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Let's see, one thing I want to show off is this. If we... Okay. If I do this right... How do I? I know there's a way to like uh, keep going back on the wall and just going higher and higher. It's. I used to be able to do that really well. Uh, I keep on just losing all my mo all my momentum. I know. How the hell? I I don't know, dude. Point is, you can do some. Nighty stuff with the with the parkour if you take the time to learn it. You know, the the story in this game has a lot of uh, cool ideas. Like, I like the idea of the lost hex, the idea of like the Zet okay. The the idea of like the Zeti as a species. Um, the idea that they can control uh, like machines and whatnot. And like I don't know, all, all, I don't know all, all, just all this stuff and then the fact that like we have to work together with, with Eggman even though like that has happened in like the ending for some Sonic games but it's never happened for like the majority of the game so I do I do like it in that sense because it's like the instead of just being the, like a final story sequence the they're both both teams are like forced to work together for like a majority of the of the game's runtime which is uh, you know a, a fun concept for a game for a Sonic game story, but it just it's just it's handled so poorly in this game. We'll get more into that later, but like yeah, it's. I think my main issues with this game story are the fact that like it doesn't explain a whole lot. Uh, the new characters that introduced, while I don't mind the designs, they're kind of just there. <laughs> um, and uh, I like the I the concept of like having a full game with like Timmy up with Eggman, but it's uh, some of it works okay, but like there's a lot of things that just either fall flat or or, or are just hilariously bad. <laughs> and we'll get to those, but yeah, it's just kind of a mess of a story. Oh, I, okay, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Yeah, we have these clouds from Sky Sanctuary, and, uh, it's like... Yeah, okay, just do that. Oh! Or, or I can just die. That works too. Yeah, I will say this, this is definitely... This game definitely has a lot more, uh, slower paced, like, platforming moments, which I know is not, um everyone's cup of tea with the series, so I, I, I get it. I, I definitely... I will say this, I definitely understand why there's a lot of people that aren't super, like, thrilled about this game. And I I will say this, there, there are things about this game that I do, like, like, like I, I'm not the biggest fan of myself. So, yeah, it's definitely not perfect. Okay. And one thing to note is that this game did have quite a few updates since it came out. Um, 
Like one of the one of the big ones is that the original game, like when if when this game first came out, you didn't actually get lives from uh, getting a hundred rings. And considering how this is one of the more difficult Sonic games, um, a lot of people had issues with that, especially since this game works so differently. So it's like it was. C kind of a mess. But being able to get more lives from the one-ups is uh, that was a good sentence. <laughs> being able to get more lives from one-ups. Oh my god! I okay. What I meant to say is being able to get more lives through the rings is very good because now you can with how with how many rings there tends to be in these games. It's very quick. It, it, it doesn't take very long to rack uh, up in in lives. Okay, if it pleases the court, all those who think Eggman is a total bonehead raise their hand. Well, there you go, folks. The motion is passed unanimously. I didn't raise my hand. It would seem the peaceful days of tending my garden will have to wait. But I take care of these matters, the rest of you cannot. Please, Master Zick. This is not something you should trouble yourself with. It's beneath you. Now, don't be concerned. <laughs> It'll be good to stretch these old bones. Okay, this is one of the more gimmick heavy stages. This kind of reminds me of like. Ah, what's it? <laughs> Having these, like, like, the, uh, fruit juice chew out like a, like a propeller like that. I, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, that one, that one section, was it, like, one of the levels in Mario Galaxy, the first game, where, like, what, like, the water spouts out in a very similar, similar fashion. It's kind of like that. Yeah, this level's fine. Uh, I I don't actually remember this pathway. Where am I going? <laughs> Can you tell that it's been a while since I played this game? Right. Yeah, this is a bit more loose as a playthrough compared to Colors and Generations because I went into those playthroughs knowing exactly what I wanted to say. But um, yeah, this this one is a little bit more loose because it's, it's been so long since I played this. I I had ideas of what I wanted to talk about, but yeah, this kind of just kind of rolling with it and see what see what happens. This little seedling will never have a chance to prove I've seen that. Does he enjoy to cultivate his pain and make fertilizer out of him? Okay, so Oh yeah. Yeah, I I'm not too too big on stuff like this where you have to actively like f like have a fruit follow you around. Do this to like again I I I've gone on record in the past saying that I don't mind the slower seg the more slower segments in Sonic games, but no, stuff like this, I, I don't, re I, I don't think stuff like this really fits. I, I feel like this, I feel like this is a bit m too much in the other direction. Although it does look very uh, nice. I don't, I don't mind the more cartoony like art style.
No. Okay. Yeah, th th <laughs> this is a game conditioning me to expect, uh, like, invisible springs. So these things are, like, just everywhere. I don't really get that, honestly. I, I feel like... Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like just having the springs just always there just makes more sense. I don't know why there's a re- I don't, I don't know why they bothered to, like, hide a bunch of them. And do the... Okay, so the red rings don't, like, save if you die. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Not that we're going for all of them, but you know. I, I thought, honestly, I thought this was the, the end of the level, but I guess not. Eh. Yep. The one other thing I can say about this Well, I, I can barely, I, I can barely hear it, but... Yeah, one thing... Yeah, something I will say about the uh, controls in this game that I do really like is that if you press, if you okay, so first off, this game brings back the double, the double jump. But if you to do the homing attack, you have to press A twice. But if you press B to do it to do a double jump instead, um, you'll you you won't ever do a homing attack, and that, that's a good way to. Uh, like, not do something accidental, I guess. So, like, if you, if you want to actually attack, you press A. If you want to just jump uh, past enemies, you just press B. And then, uh, why you were used for, like, this weird little kick attack, which is uh, required for some enemies, and also just bypasses some defenses. Yeah. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, you gotta love how they build, they build these characters up, but like, they're just kind of nothing. Alright, time for... Rails! Powerful than I anticipated. He shows much potential. Who cares about him? Now that I'm free, I want to squeeze Eggman till he pops. I want to squeeze and Eggman. Him, I suppose. Uh, well, yeah. There are better ways to make him suffer. But more delicious? What would you say if I told you we could destroy Eggman's world and use its energy to make ourselves unbelievably powerful? Say that I had taught you well. Yes, you have. I like that boost sound effect. That was good. And it will be Eggman's own creation that causes his destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I do, okay, I, first off, this track is beautiful, I love this theme, but, yeah, there are two levels in this game that all, that, that are all, like, rail grinding, and I really like that in the, in this game's case, because the way the rail grinding works is quite a lot different from other games, and you don't have, um, like, rail switching in, in the sense of, like, uh, you press the you press a button and you can switch rails or whatever. It's um, more uh, what should, what should you call it? They like actively have to jump from rail to rail manually, which wouldn't really work in a log a lot of Sonic games, but it works in this game's case because I'm bad at the game. <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> Ignoring that, it works in this game's case because it's uh, more deliberate with its movements and you don't... You never go too fast with the rails here, so it, it, it always feels like you can be more deliberate with your movements and whatnot. Um, so, it's... You, you have more of a ge just general sense of control. So, it, the challenge is, is more about just being able to, like, get... Uh, Get, get through these obstacles and, um, you know, know, knowing where where and when to jump kind of thing. Like, stuff like this. Like, and you have, like, different types of rails which make you go slower or faster. So, it's, uh, I do enjoy these levels quite a bit. I definitely don't think this kind of design would have worked for any other Sonic game, but just because of this, just because of the way this game handles, I think the method of having to jump between rails to there, the 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 uh, fact that you need to jump from rail to rail manually, uh, like just it works for this game specifically. I don't again, I don't think it would work for like SA2 or Heroes or anything like that, but it's a. Uh, I, I think it works though. I, I I feel like it, this love these levels wouldn't be anywhere near as fun if you could just switch from rail to rail by just pressing right or left. So yeah, and it it does have some pretty, especially in the uh, second version of the stage, which is like near the end of the game. It does have some pretty tricky platforming, which is a uh, all just like nice and fun stuff. And you also just get a lot of uh, speed from, a lot more speed through the um, the rails and whatnot. Because like I mentioned before, like a little bit earlier, that the the two uh, D controls are a lot more like a, a lot slower compared to how Sonic feels in three D. But with this, with the when you go into the two D sections in this stage, um, you're a lot faster. So. There's also that, which I, I think is pretty fun. And you can also just do a lot of weird, like, physics crap with the with the jumping as well. And it's just yeah, I I really yeah, I really I really enjoyed these levels just for the challenge, the sent the uh, the speed you can get with your jumps, and uh, the the music and the visuals are also just really really stunning. Oh no, not the not the Minecraft uh god. Not the Minecraft trees. this freezer. Oh, okay. <laughs> that works. I don't know why, like, the game goes... I don't know why, like, just always just goes straight down like that. Oh, right, I forgot about this. You have to, like, lure this pineapple to these chickens. But, like, it, it moves... 
well, well before you're even close to it, so it's just kind of weird. Yeah, I guess another way to say that, like, this is very, just like, uh, what should we call it, like, made to appeal to Mario fans. And there's a lot of this that is like, it does kind of scream Mario Galaxy in a lot, of, a lot of instances. Okay, this is a good example of like uh, using the uh, what call it? using the the B button to just do a double jump instead of home attack. So yeah, it's it's good it's good to keep that in mind for stuff like that. I went right into that like a dumbass. <laughs> that was good. I do like how dynamic the, the 2D sections can be in terms of just how it like moves around with the gravity and whatnot. I don't think you can actually kill this guy. Yeah. If you can, I don't know how. No, oh, wrong way. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's not... Again, it, it, with like how this game doesn't always teach things very well. Um, <laughs> um, it, it's, not always sup it, it's not always super clear what enemies you need to kick and what enemies you need to just... You can just do a regular home attack for. Um, it, a lot of it you just kind of learn from trial and error. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I I don't really know how you're supposed to know um, a lot of the time. Yeah, this this game has <laughs> this game does have issues. Not oh, great. Do I, do I not need to do that? Okay, that works. Yeah. I think the game actually wanted me to home and attack that octopus dude to get up there, but my way's cooler. I uh <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll do that. Oh, can I just oh wait, does that kill them? Oh. That does hurt them. Nice. Okay, you can call them. It just takes a while. So it's best to just ignore them. Nope. Okay. Eh! Alright. The jump can for if you don't have, like, your full oh damn it if you don't have your full momentum it uh, yeah nice uh the jump can feel a little bit stiff sometimes i'm all the way back here Are you serious oh i guess uh, it's never really um bad enough to really be a problem but yeah this game also has a time limit like mario 2d mario games but Unlike 2D Mario, you have like a crazy amount of time, so it's never really much of an issue. Dude, do you wanna like... Why am I so bad? Jeez... Jesus. Alright. Let's try and get this again, please. Without problems. 
Okay, that, yeah, that, that's what it wants you to do. <laughs> uh. I, I am struggling men mentally right now. I am starting to get more used to how this game controls. So I, I'm getting back into the swing, swing of things. I, I used to be a lot better, better at this game, I'm not going to mince words. Um, I'm, compared to how I was, like, before, like, I, I, I'm way worse at this game now, but, you know, it, it's fine. I'm, I'm starting to get back into the swing of things. Alright, cool. No, 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 get that, get that. I probably missed that checkpoint, that's... Yeah, I, I missed... I, I missed that checkpoint uh, last time. That's why I got sent back so far. But this level's kicking. I don't know what it is, but like this level's kicking my ass. I did say this game was hard, so. Okay, I want to get spin dash just to be a little bit faster. I okay. I don't know if that the fish e eating you is an instant kill, but I don't exactly want to find want to find out. Oh, what one of the thing? Okay, one of the thing that I really like is the fact that like uh uh. <laughs> Okay, chill, chill. Um, one other thing that I really like is the fact that, like, uh, you can do a bounce attack right into a, a spin dash. I don't think it. Okay, let me. Okay, hold on. Let, let me test this. Okay, it, okay. It doesn't matter if it's the first, second, or third uh, uh, bounce attack, but you, you can do bounce immediately into a spin dash, which helps. Uh, the flow of the game immensely, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. Right, do I need to just go here? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's... There's really nothing to say about these bosses. They're just kind of a thing. So this game is like trying to have like the easiest bosses in, in like gaming history or something. Like it, it's just like what do you what do you want me to say about them? Like they're just they're over before they even start. She can barely see Sonic. <laughs> by ourselves. That may be true, but the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine, and they're using it in ways for which it was never designed. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? <laughs> it was supposed to extract energy from our world, but the machine is unstable. Once it reaches full power, it can't be shut off. It will drain our world dry. So that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> what? It's what I do. Oh, always your answer to everything, Hedgehog. If you wish to create a cataclysmic explosion that will incinerate everything within a hundred miles, please smash away. So there's no off switch? No, not anymore. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nice. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Man up, Tails. I don't like working with my most hated enemies any more than you do. But our entire world is at stake. Yeah, well, teaming up with you feels like the end of the world, Eggman. I don't want to take a long shower by the time we're done. <sighs> yeah. So I guess 
I may as well show this off. Just this is like the quickest way to uh, rack up. Oh, okay, how do I do this? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I what? Oh, good. I had to. This freaking gamepad. Oh, jeez. Uh, this is awkward. The, the, the main thing you get from the red rings is, like, if you get all of them, you get Super Sonic, but, um, be, beyond that, you, uh, get these circus, circus minigames. I, I swear to god, it looks, it always looks like Sonic's just face palming at the end of these. Like, what is he actually doing? Um, but let's see if I can get a better one. So you get red rings and then you get these circuses, which they all, like, th there's like a handful of specific gimmicks, like the seesaw. Okay, I'm going to have to look at my gamepads. <laughs> oh my god. No. Why do I... Why do I have to use the get the touch screen for this? It's so awkward. Yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, the best way to like uh, well one of the best ways to get up like a bunch of animals. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like they're face palming. Oh, I completely forgot about the secret levels. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we may as well do this uh, while we're here. So, what, which one is what's this? Oh, okay, this is like this weird defying gravity stage. There's another one like this in like a main level later on, but yeah, I, I don't understand this. <laughs> like, it's, it's fine, like, I don't mind these levels too much, but like, yeah, it's, uh, Lost World just has a bunch of weird ideas. <laughs> And it's like, I feel I feel like this game is a good good example of like them really trying hard to like just put a bunch of gimmicks into the game, but they're still hold it desperately holding on to just having it as Sonic only. So <laughs> you just have Lost World, which just has a, they kind of just throw a bunch of I good. they just kind of throw a bunch of ideas at the wall and just see what just seeing what sticks. It's a, I do kind of like it in that sense, in the sense of like it's just very experimental, but it does feel kind of aimless sometimes. But yeah. Can I just. No, I can't do that. Good. Yeah, again, it's like. This game doesn't really tell you how things work. It, it's like. You kind of just figure it out. Um. Yeah, stop. For example, with this, oh, I just go under it, or I can just die. That works too. And the background here, this is an example, it's not so egregious here because you're kind of just flying in nothingness. But, um, 
you see the checkable pattern stuff, like... Yeah. Like, there's... There's, like... I think there's, like, three worlds that have, like, the same... Like, that have, like, the Green Hill kind of aesthetic. Not including this, like, secret level here. And that's kind of what I mean by, like, the... I just... I just kind of wish the, the, the this game had a bit more visual variety in that sense, because uh, we're going to uh, Frozen Factory here. This, this is it's it's basically just going to be uh, Windy Hill again, but just in snow. Which, yeah, <laughs> that's that's kind that's the kind of thing I mean. The, yeah, I think uh, I think that's a good place to call it. So yeah, next time we'll go through Frozen Factory, do some other stuff, <laughs> and uh, continue continue on with the game. I don't know how many. I, I, I can't imagine this will take more than like three sessions. But yeah, we'll continue on ne uh, next time with some fun, so good old snow ice levels and all that. And uh, yeah, see you guys. Dare words. See you guys next time.